Uh, Brown's very unlikely to swap Baker Mayfield for Panther Sam Darnold. Sources say wide receiver Robbie Anderson explains he also wasn't disrespecting Mayfield when he said, to be honest, think about fucking retiring. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Is this what's going on? It might have just been something in a workout or a, he was enjoying life without going mm-hmm. to football and got to experience what retirement could potentially taste like. You have no idea why somebody thinks about retirement. It happens a lot, and most guys end up going back because they know that they can't live without it. But there is always a thought, not always, there is a thought in a lot of players' minds as they get older, like, do I want to go keep doing this? So Robbie, it immediately became, oh, he hates Sam Darnold. (laughs) Baker Mayfield's not a better option Mm -hmm. either. Who is Matt Corral? Robbie Anderson's like, I'm tired of wasting my career. That's what everybody automatically ran with when he was saying that's not what he was saying at all. Now, follow up. We talked about Baker Mayfield and uh, the Browns and the Panthers being in the middle of negotiation because the Panthers were hoping that Baker Mayfield could maybe attend their mandatory minicamp that happened this week. That is the first time we had heard that. Mm -hmm. A lot of people were tweeting me after we released that earlier this week. They've been been in conversation for some time. That's not how I understood it. It was actually cut off, they said. Like, they're going to wait until after mandatory minicamp or OTAs to see what they have, what they don't have, what they're looking to do. And also, what are the Browns willing to pay a Baker Mayfield's contract so that the Carolina Panthers don't have to? If the Carolina Panthers pick up Baker Mayfield and they pick up his entire salary, they'll be paying $18.5 million to Baker Mayfield and $19 million to Sam Darnold at the same damn time and have no idea what their future quarterback situation is. So everybody's hoping that the uh, Cleveland Browns will pay for at least half of that. The Browns have allegedly came out and said they'll pay 10 or 11 of that. would have to go up even more to get an actual trade. Or they hang on to Baker Mayfield because we have no idea what the fuck's going on with Sean Watson. That is one of the most interesting things to happen in our league in some time. Yeah, like you said, I mean, they, we basically have heard that there is no way he's going to be a Brown next year. But I feel like that has kind of softened a little bit since the Deshaun stuff has continually. Because, like, why would they get rid of it? I mean, like, yeah, sure. I know that someone mentioned, like, oh, Jacoby Brissett's one of the best, you know, backup quarterbacks in the league. But, like, Baker's been in this offense for two years. Like, I have a feeling those guys would get over it if, you know, uh, John Watson can't play quarterback this year. Like, what what other options do they have? Baker has to play because if he wants yeah. – like, this is his last year of a contract. Like, if he – problems aside with the Browns, like, if he wants to continue to be a starter in the NFL, he can't just sit out an entire year and then expect to get paid next year as a starter when he hadn't played in a whole entire year. I'm fascinated by it all. Why not? Deshaun just did it. Well, well Deshaun's – his uh, stats Talent. strictly on the field. What? Statistically, Deshaun was unbelievable the last year he played at, uh, for the Texans.